All right, all right, all right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. UNPL week six. Uh, he told me he's searching, so let's search. I don't want to make him wait. You guys can see, well, could have seen the team for just a few seconds there. Uh, let's try to get, we'll mix it up. We'll do some, we'll do the Kieran music. Kieran music's a, a banger, if I remember correctly. So we found him. We're bringing the same six mons as last week. Not quite the same sets. Uh, so, let's see. Did I get everything right? Okay. Not quite. So, no meta. No Ursaluna. No Zapdos. So, we have to add in. Alright. So, um, I'm thinking for my lead. Um. Can maybe do the. Maybe do the um, I'm gonna be basic. I'm gonna lead with the fortress. No oh, metagross is slightly upsetting. Um, so we have to add in Thunsparce. Gotta add in the Browser. And have to add in the Spirit Team. Second should be plenty of time. Mm. There it is. All right, so ten. We're still fine. We're gonna lock in now and just resize these guys. So if he leads with the Blaziken, in trouble because he is frowning you. Now, I do want to see something here. I am a fortress. If he dragon dances, if he dragon dances, what do I want to do? Um, Alright, cool. So we'll get an issue. So, all right. so not, not, not so bad, not so bad. Flip turn did how much? Also, flip turn tells me he's maybe not set up. Flip turn did 83 points of damage if he's standard, but well, he wasn't light for it. He's gonna go into the Glamora. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, uh oh. So, alright. Well, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, so, what's the, the worst thing Glamora could do to me? Any psychic moves. Um, ground, he gets earth power, we have air balloon. He gets thunder wave, he doesn't get thunder wave, anything like that. Um, I think, I think I can source that. Might be too early, might end up costing me later, but. Um, um, hmm. well, I don't, my album's not popped yet. Realistically, um, I could go out into the fortress. Um, Is he dual screens? Dual screens would be annoying. Um, part of me wants to sub. I'm gonna try it. So 
Are you a drummer? Play some of us two on so. So either way, um, we're going to get some fat damage off on this brow gear. So obviously we're plus two, he's behind the reflect. Uh, I might go to plus four. Throwing away the sneeze a little early, but um, there's a chance we still do a ton of damage to everything on this team. Probably breaks. Yeah. Breaks, my air balloon pops behind the sub. So now we're unburdened. We're plus four, which essentially means his reflect is nullified. We're just standard plus two. Um, it's also been two turns, so if he's not light clay, uh, he's only got three turns left. So there is that. Uh, for Alligator, it isn't life orb, but it didn't outspeed me, so... Um, real quick, I do want to check. My Fortress was decently especially defensive. I'm going to Spirit Tomb. I don't think Spirit Tomb does anything outside of Shadow Ball to break my sub, so I'm using it for like a Willow here. Um, real quick, my Spirit Tomb, or my Fortress took, what's that, about 90 damage? Maybe he's an Adamant for Alligator? Flip turns doing, no, hold on. Two sixty-two. that's 90. I'm gonna go for one sub just to see if he has a move to break in case he wants to go for a will o wisp or something like that. He is for Calm Mind. Uh, I think okay. I am just gonna go for Gung Shot. Don't miss. Nice, 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 nice. Should do some good damage. Do about half. We get the poison. Fantastic. I think that do it. puts him into a carry. So he's gonna shadow ball. So that was turn three and then turn four of reflect. So I mean I should after the poison to a KO. Spear tomb versus Sneasler. Um, plus four through reflect. It's about about forty to forty six. It looks about like what I did. I'm gonna click on the shot again. We miss. Damn. Um, we should take that shadow ball though. I think. Ah, crits. Un unfortunate. Unfortunate turn. Um, Welp. Welp. Um, let's see. I think my best option here is probably the the ogre pump. Thinking it's probably the ogre pawn. Um, if he has like sneak or something, it's not gonna matter too much. Uh, Ogre Pond clicking. I believe it's probably Ivy Cudgel is my best pick. So I think uh, Alligator is banded based on what it looks like. Um, I'm just gonna click Ivy Cudgel. He doesn't really have a great fire resist. I mean, has the blazy thing is. I don't know if he wants to bring that in. So we're gonna click Ivy Cudgel. He could save this thing, he could not. 
we'll see. It's unfortunate that I missed my gung shot there. This thing would have been dead, and I would have had a plus two sneeze layer. Ah, oh, he's gonna live and pain splits. That's unfortunate. Um. Sneasler at plus one. Sorry. Spirit Tomb at plus one to my Ogre Pawn. I can Synthesis. Shadow Paul is doing. So it says, if I synthesis and he pain splits, we're in the same spot. But if I synthesis and he goes for Shadow Ball, I think we're at about the same point. I mean, 181 is, what, is it half? Hold on. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get power. So now he's gonna tear it. Now Terra's fire and he's probably gonna live. That's unfortunate. Okay, he lives. He shouldn't be able to take us out though. Man, spirit to give me some problems. If only I just hit a gung shot. And didn't get crit. All right, I'm gonna synthesis. If he doesn't have shadow sneak, I think we're in business. Seventy-eight. So I need to be a little help on this. Mm. I think I sent this as a Yannick pain splits so we can just kill him after because we're flexing. Him. Shadow Ball should put us. So we're a little healthier than we were, which is good because I think we're out of range of Feraligatr. Does does Feraligatr get like Sucker Punch? I don't think so. I've never had one before. Okay, no Sucker Punch. Any weird like first impression? No, okay. So we're out of range of Banded Aqua Jet, which is nice. Um, So we'll see what he wants to go into here. Uh, I haven't revealed Stomping Tantrum, so he might think Lamora can live. Yeah. And uh, maybe set up another Reflect or something. The Stomping Tantrum uh, is going to be nice. I don't remember his nicknames. Is that so that's for Alligator. Now, so I'm looking, and like, if he was... Choice band jet. Sorry, choice band flip turn. Flip turn was the only way he was doing like 90 damage. It was a for a band. So I should live a jet here, always. Ogre pond. Uh, Aqua jet. Should do. Oh, never mind. I was talking something wrong. Maybe I was talking. We have for a jet here. Actually, I'm gonna stay in 
I don't want my Nick Crosman to take damage. He goes for Jet. Should take us out. But we live. Fantastic. Nice. We hit the power. Wave. Take that boy out. Um. I mean, it was a roll. If he's Jolly, 117 was the max he could have done. So. There is that. This Hageshi. I think that's his place. Um. So I have. No matter what. I go right into Necrozma. I don't think twice. Uh, Rocky Helmet, if he attacks me, I break any type of sturdy or any, uh, any like, um, sash stuff. If he Swords Dances, I'm going to live any one, and I click. I'll just make sure I did this right. Necrozma versus any type of Blaziken. OU Swords Dance. At plus two. Is gonna do. You know he's adamant. 87 with a flare blitz. If he's adamant, the life orb. Then the life orb is a chance to kill me. The adamant life orb is the only set that kills me. So if he is anything else, I should live. Even if he is like charge. Okay, so we live. Sorry if I just hit the mic. Hold on, guys, or takes out the blizzard. All right, cool. Biggest threat averted. Uh, he's down to three. The Glamour, the Dunsparce, and the Hydrapple. We saved our Ogre Pond, which can kill can kill Glamora and do a lot of damage to the other two. Um, depending on what he goes for here. Um, Hydrapple, I think, could be an issue. Potentially Dunsparce could be an issue, too, if it's like a coil. Some type of coil variant. Um, Dunsparce is 45 speed, so if he's invested, he would outspeed my Ursa Luna, and I don't believe... Okay. Um... So this could be his rocker. If it is his rocker. Do I want to get my ogre pond in or do I want to go into my fortress? I have the fortress so I can spin if needed. Um, what's the dumbest part? So he could be evil right now. Um, Can you spell proc, I guess? Versus an Ursa Luna. Uh, Blood Moon. Takes. Okay, so that's max. Max for death. Um, I'm gonna try Ursa Luna. If he sets up rocks, we still have the fortress to spin it away so Ogre Pond can come in. Fortress is mostly special defensive, especially defensive to uh, help take on the Appleton. Or the, the Hydra. So we have a Bali Slam. It's not Para. I really don't care. Even if it does, it's fine. Alright. Um, so I don't really know exactly what his Dunsparce set is. I am going to I think fire off a Blood Moon. If he's max max, we'll see. He'll take about half, a little less than half. He's not max max. So I'm potentially physically defensive. And he's going to baton pass. Uh, what into? I don't really know. Um, Hidora, I think that's the, this guy. Um, so it gets, it gets no, um, no fire moves. And the worst thing he can do to a fortress is obviously get like a double power fickle beam, but so earth power to my fortress, um, is going to do. From the high end trample. If he max modest, it's going to do 41%. So he could 2 KO him if he's max modest. Um, but even if he kills me, I can go. I can go into um, 
what's the guy? Chien Pao afterwards, and I think pick up three kills because he's got the Zamora and the yeah. So so even if he you know, do your worst, Grassland's gonna do about five. Yeah, it does nothing. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, so he no longer has a Volt Switch resist. I think I'm gonna click Volt Switch, and no matter what he does, uh, going to Chien Pao. I think Chien Pao should be able to clean it up, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm gonna click Volt Switch. No matter what he does, he's gonna switch. I think he goes into. I don't know what that is. That's, that's gotta be Glamour, I think. Yeah, it does. He's gonna go into Glamour. I don't know. I don't know what this Glamour is, but Chien Pao. Chien Pao with Psychic Fangs. Uh, what's the regular? It's just, it's not very bulky, I don't think. Okay, so he has, has Reflect. So I do 98 to no bulk. If he is max HP, there's still a good chance I kill. Um, I really need to get that little, uh, little guy for the, uh, the HP bar so I can see exactly how much I'm doing. So, I just want to see Fortress. I'm doing about 10 to a max HP variant. That looks like about 20 total. Um, so I'm going to say he's probably max HP, which means Shin Pao should kill. Um, and even if he's something like uh, Pyapa Berry, um, can I still win with what I have left? I have Ursa Luna. Um, I want to say yes. Maybe I shouldn't have gone into Chen I should have been a little more cautious because I really need Chen to kill High Jackal. I think it looks like if I mean, you should take it out, just don't take it out. That's not great. So he goes for Flight, which is it's actually okay because it's like things I break through Flight. Okay, so that's fine. Maybe he didn't have Power Whip. Maybe he ran into like four move slots. So we're gonna click uh, Psychic Fangs. We will break. We're gonna break the. Gonna break the. God damn, reflect for the eighth fucking time, I'll say. Uh, we crit. I don't know how much that matters, because even if he is Yachi Berry, he is Yachi Berry. I think we should still kill. Yeah, we take it out. Um, I do want to see, because now I want to know. I Drapple, who was Yachi, the Yesh. Uh... Okay, so max HP Yachi took 93. If he was max max defense. So first off, if he is max defense, there was no chance he was ever killing me with anything. See, he was modest. I live a Draco Meteor. So I don't think that matters. What is this? Is this Fortress? Or this is Dunsparce? I'm a crunch. I should be able to take it out. And then I should be able to just Ice Shard Lumora. And that should be the game. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Got a little nervous there. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy. The Blaziken was so, so scary. Uh, I'm really glad my plan worked out. Almost textbook, you know, don't, don't play around. Go right to Necrozma. No matter what he does, he attacks you, breaks his own Sash potential, and then dies to... Um, Dies to uh, Photon Geyser, so I'm going to click Crunch, I can't miss, and we are going to take this out and snag ourselves another 5-0 victory. So we are trudging along, picking up these dubs. Uh, Chien Pao has been, uh, you know, been, been kind of waiting around in the wings lately, you know, threatening presence type of deal, like you know it's there, you prep for it, but it hasn't really had to come out too much in the battles. Um, now, you know, every time, yeah, when you guys see, when it hits the field, Devastating, man. This Pokemon is incredible, incredibly offensive. Uh, just puts so much pressure on everything. Um, not sure. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll grab his team. I do want to see. Because Glamora maybe had Reflect, a Hazard, a Spin, and like maybe a Sludge Wave to not want to go for it to take me out. Um, uh, let me see one thing before I get out of here. If he wasn't invested. 
It wasn't invested. Uh, it was 87 to 103 to my Shen Pound. So there's obviously there's a chance. Obviously, I don't know his EV spread, but if, if he had it and wasn't invested, say he was like speed and HP, um, which actually he had to be he had to be some type of defense. So maybe he didn't have any special attack. So it was definitely a role in my favor to live the power gem. Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, obviously, I don't know everything that's going through his head, but um, GG's. GG's to my man. Um, we're going to improve to 5-0 now. Uh, plus, plus something. I think plus 23. So again, man, uh, piling up the differential. So we have a bit of a buffer if we take a loss or two. Um, but obviously, you guys know we're not settling for a loss or two. We're aiming to win every week. We're pulling out all the stuff. Um, until next week, I will see all you guys then. Hopefully, your whalers are going to improve this 6-0 next week. I will catch you then. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And as always, take it easy. Peace.